Hi, this is Quark Gifu, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make eyeliner for your Second Life avatar. And this is the eyeliner that we are going to end up with. The eyeliner on the left, I'm going to show you, the goal of this tutorial is to show you the creation and placement of eyeliner for your Second Life avatar. Now the eyeliner on the right, which is the left eyeball of the avatar, shows you the placement of the eyeliner for just the inside of the model's eye. Now this is a part of the eye that you don't normally see in real life people. So if you want to add a little realism to your avatar, uh, you could make this pink or red or something like that if you wanted to try to go for realism. And on the left side of your screen or on the right eyeball of the avatar, you see an actual practical eyeliner. Now this is this tutorial is going to show you how to create and place the correct placement for eyeliner so you can get a good useful eyeliner for your Second Life avatar using Photoshop. And let's get started. Hi, this is Quark Yifu and I'm going to show you how to make some eyeliner for your Second Life avatar using Photoshop. Now first let me show you the setup that I've got going on here. I have a setup that has four layers on it. You can see over here I have my background copy, my bump map overlay, my skin color texture and this is the uh, Robin Wood UV map uh, that I have as a background for the whole texture here. Now this is 1024 by 1024 which is what I use for skin in, in Photoshop and let me show you real quick if you don't have these UV maps you can get them from Robin Wood's site. See Robin Wood made this UV map. See and uh, you can get them from Robin Wood's site. You can go to Google and just type in robinwood.com and actually it'll come up like that. Or you can get it from my site, uh, Google site for Quark Yifu. Okay, so if you don't have these avatar maps, you probably need them, so go there and get them. And this bump map, you get that in your Second Life folder on your computer. So wherever you s installed your viewer for the bump map, you could uh, <clears throat> go go and open up your folder, your character folder, and that would that bump map would be in there, along with a bunch of other textures for Second Life. Okay, so this is the setup that we've got. Now, what we want to do is make some eyeliner. Now, let me show you something here. I'm going to open this up a little bit so we can see it. If we take see this outline part of the eye right here. This is the inside edge of our avatar's eyelid. Okay, now this is a part of the anatomy of a human body you wouldn't normally see. You wouldn't normally see the inside edge of someone's eyelid. But let's say if we wanted to go for realism and we wanted to make a texture for the inside lid of our avatar, which would be, you know, a pink color or a skin color, we could take our little tool here. This is our lasso, polygon lasso tool, which will allow us just to click to create a section, uh, selection just by clicking. So we can click here and we can go over here and click here. And we can go over here and click here. Now let's make a little click mark there. Let's make sure we get that. And you can see we're just going to click and make a nice little polygon lasso tool selection. Now I have my <clears throat> I have my background copy turned on so I'm going to turn that off. But let's fill this in with black so we can see it. So we're going to create a new layer. Here's my little create new layer thing. and Go up here to edit and go fill and we're going to use black. We could use red or blue or whatever but black. Okay now I'm going to go control D to deselect that. I could go up here and go select deselect but it's control D. Okay now I'm going to deselect the background copy so we can see where our thing is here. Now let's show you where that what that looks like on the avatar. 
Okay, and here's our inner texture that we made. You can see that it's on the right side of your screen, which is the left eyebrow or eye of the avatar. And the inner texture just covers the inside of the eye. Do you see that? So if you wanted to go for realism on your eye, you could make that inner, t inner texture and you could make it like a pink or a, a lighter version of the skin color or put some glaze on it and that's what that is. Okay. All right, let's go back to our avatar here. We have got, now we're going to do the left eye, or the right eye, but it's going to be on the left side. Okay, now here's the thing we're going to do for the placement. We're not going to use the polygon tool because it doesn't make a, a nice, round, uh, symmetrical texture like we want. Okay, we're going to use the pen tool. Now, here's the whole trick of everything we're going to try to do to make a good eyeliner. First, I'm going to create an, an, an empty layer, a new layer. Is you want to use, see this outline right here? You want to stay within that outline no matter what you do. Don't go outside that outline, particularly right here. Because if you go to the left, or to the right over here a little bit, it would be left on the avatar. It, it creates a little black blotch right on the inside eye, and it really looks like hell. So we're going to make sure we stay within that. And what I like to do is use this right here as my texture. Okay? So I'm going to stay inside here, but I want to make sure I cover all this. All right? So just to make it clear, it's it's kind of hard to understand this, but... We don't want to go outside this texture here, and we want to stay over this inner texture here. So there's this very small area where we can actually use to make our eyeliner. Okay, so I'm going to click over here. Now, I could click all the way over here, but I'm not going to do that. I want to go on the inside a little bit and make my first control point with my pen tool. Now, if you guys don't know about the pen tool, there's a tutorial link on my site. And some of my previous, uh, my uh, lips uh, tutorial shows how to use the pen tool too. So here we go. I didn't go far enough. Control Z. I want to go right about here. See, now I want to get past this to make sure we can all see that, Daryl. Press the space bar and use a little hand tool. Now, here's my first control point. I want to get past the inner eye part that, I just, that we just filled in, but I don't want to go beyond this because I don't want to get up on the bridge of the nose. So let's go right about here. This looks pretty good right here. Okay, now I'm going to drag my handle out. Now I can Alt-click to grab this bottom handle and move it around. And look at that. Look at that. It's right where we want it. See? It's on the inside of this line, and it's on the outside of that line. That's exactly where we want our eyeliner texture. Okay? Now my next click is going to complete the selection. So it's going to kind of mess everything up, and I'll have to re uh, reselect it. Uh, I talked about that before in a previous uh, video, but we're going to click it here, and I'm going to drag my handle out a little bit. Now, I can't let go. If I let go, well, I'm going to have to. If I let go, it's going to deselect my thing. Okay, well, it did. I'll just press the Control key, click on the line, and reselect it. Now I can use my Alt key, and I can grab this handle, and I can make my selection. There you go. Look at that. I'm on the inside of the line that I told you about. See? I'm on the inside of this line right here, and I'm on the outside of that line. So I've got a really nice-looking selection. I want to get a little bit more on the outside of the, on the, outside of the inner texture here. Okay, so now just to be clear, I want to show you what we got. Now, this is the first thing we outlined right here. This is the inner texture. It's the inner texture of the model's eye. You really don't see that. It's not that important. I usually just cover the complete thing up. 
Okay, so we're going to go outside of that inner texture of the eye. Now, again, if close to the nose, if we go outside too much, it'll look like hell. Okay, so we're not going to do that. And over here on the other side, if we don't go outside enough, it'll look like hell. So this is pretty much the optimal selection that you want to make right here. You want to make in between this and that, in between this line and that line. Okay, so now we've got our selection. I'm going to go to pass. I'm going to go make selection. I don't want a feather. I'm going to go OK. I'm going to go over here to layers. I've got my new layer and I'm going to go file, edit, fill with black. And there is my selection. I'm going to control D to deselect that. And you can see here's my eye, eyebrow, uh, my eyeliner right there. So here's my eyeliner for the inner eye that we talked about before. And here's my eyeliner. This is the practical eyeliner that we're going to use for the outside avatar texture. Now let's go load it onto a Second Life texture and see what it looks like. Okay, this is the skin with the uh, eyeliner texture on our avatar. And look at that. That's our eyeliner on the left side of your screen on the right eye of the avatar there and look at that it looks pretty good huh Did you see our placement of that turned out really good we got a really nice eyeliner there it comes up over the edge of the uh, avatar's eye just a little bit and it just looks perfect for an eyeliner so if you want to make an eyeliner for your avatar that's exactly the way that you would do it you would get that placement just perfect and as you uh, play with the pen tool and, and your avatar placement on the map, you'll get better at doing it. And uh, there you go. Thanks for watching my tutorial.